All right, guys, we're going to be tying the Shanks White streamer today. We're going to start off with a size 6 uh, Mustad 9672 in the vise today. We've got some Danville's 3.0 gray thread. We're going to start at the eye of the hook. We're right back to the bend. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some uh, lead wire to throw down the shank of the hook. I normally grab about four inches, plus or minus a little bit. I want to helicopter it off. I'm not going to use my fly tying scissors for this. These will dull, dull out your scissors real bad. Again, I've got a little too much. I'm going to helicopter off the front so I don't have to use my fly tying scissors. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some white mar woolly bugger marabou and I'm going to put uh, attach the tail to this fly. I'm going to sort through this. I'm going to grab three to four of the fluffiest feathers I can find out of here. Try three first to see what we get. I'm going to lay these down the shank of the hook to get a good length. I want these tails to be the length of the shank. So I get my tail. I'm going to Start pulling these back just a hair so I can tie them in. Two thread, two wraps, and then pull down on your thread. Come in here, and we're going to trim this. Take a few wraps to get that tied down in real tight. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab some rabbit fur and we're going to create a dub and loop to make the body of this fly all the way up to the eye of the hook. Make sure you get your dub and loop spinner and it's essential to have some good wax to keep your rabbit fur stuck in that dub and loop. Wax this thread. I'm just going to lay it down for the moment. I, I like to use a clip to get my rabbit fur off of the hide. I can get it off the hide much, uh, much more even uh, than any other way that I've found. I'm going to pull it a little bit off the hide to see where I'm at. I'm going to take my fly tying scissors in here. Trim the hair off of the hide. Got a couple loose fibers I'm going to pull off. Open the clip and we're going to pull some of this hair out just a little bit. Move this hair up in the dub and loop just a little bit. And now we're going to begin to thread our, our start our, 
um, after we've spun our dub and loop we're going to come back through here I like to use my whip finisher and I will pull some of these loose fibers out you can use a bodkin as well and just pull some of these fibers out that we don't want to use within this fly I'll give it one or two small twists again and then I'm going to grab my hackle pliers and stick underneath our dub and loop and then I'm going to trim the thread from the hackle to the dub and loop uh, pliers. Then I'm just going to wrap my hackle pliers forward. Make sure you wrap this real tight just as you'd be wrapping a chenille or a hackle or anything else. So once you get to the end of your rabbit fur, tie it off. Take your tying scissors and trim your excess thread. And again, create another dubbing loop. Wax that thread real good. So I'm going to lay that down just for that moment and grab my rabbit hide. Again, I'm going to use this bulldog clip. Open the clip just a little bit to pull some of this hair out. Stick it in our loop, open the clip, and tighten down our dub and loop tool. Okay, we're going to give it a few spins. Then we'll go through again with my whip finisher. some of these loose fibers. And again, you can use a bodkin if you want to. Take your hackle pliers again and stick below. Trim your thread again. And again, wrap this forward. Just as you did before. Threads a little bit further forward. Okay, so we made it to the eye of the hook. And I can pull out one, two more fibers. Now I'm going to tie this off. Two loose wraps. Pull off my hackle pliers. I'm going to trim. Now I'm just going to build up a little thread base and give this a whip finish. At this point, you can hit it with whatever type of glue you like to use. I like to use the Murray's Head Cement. So, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to turn my vise upside down, and I'm going to cut straight back to the bend of the hook and try and keep this as flat as possible on the, under, on the underside. I'll make a couple passes through here, and I'm going to pull out the loose rabbit fur out from here I'm 
Then I'm going to turn my vise and I'm going to go straight down the sides. I'm going to turn that back to me. Trim it just a little more. And I, now I'm going to trim the side closest to myself. As you tie this fly, you'll realize it takes longer to trim these flies than it actually does to tie them, it feels like. So now we'll trim the top. What I like to do is stand these fibers up and then I'm going to cut back towards the bend of the hook to build up a little bit of a head here in the front. Just taper that back. And just go through and knock off a few of these loose fibers you see around the ends. And also I like to go and round off my edges from where I cut straight on the sides. And that's your Shanks White Streamer.